Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Uh, we are progressing nicely with the uranium business over here. So in the last episode, we actually had some, um, some cars roll off the production line. And uh, in the background, the uranium extraction facility over here has continued to develop. I've also done a few other things, so let's quickly have a look at that. But today we're really going to focus on getting the uranium out of the ground and starting the processing uh, process. Processing process. I've uh, laid out a fair bit of stuff over here and I've paid for, I think, a lot of this track work with the rubles directly. Um, and there's construction going on over here. So it's basically the start of all of our logistics and construction industry um, as part of this massive town over here. And you can see it's, it's by far the biggest rail um, kind of yard process thing that we've done um, up to now. So we've got over here, we've got open storage with a truck loading facility. We've got a warehouse with a truck loading facility. We've got aggregate loading and unloading. We've got oil loading and unloading. We've got our oil facilities over here, where oil and bitumen facilities over here. We've got our asphalt and concrete um, making facilities over here. Uh, this will be gravel storage over here with gravel loading over there. So that'll basically give us um, everything we need to get a proper construction industry going on over here. And I do think that it's probably something that I'll pay for. Um, as you can see, our money is pretty good, solid. Um, it's probably something that I'll pay for so that we can start um, really um, including this area, um, this central city area over here. Uh, probably redo some of these bridges. And I, I want to make the city look really nice and have a, be, a, be a nice place for people to to live. If I look at the quality of uh, these facilities, I've kind of drawn out almost everybody from here. The quality of the flats, unfortunately, is not great. So we'll probably have to do a bit of a mix and match to see if we can um, get the quality up a little bit. Yeah, quality isn't great, but there's a lot of stuff that we probably need to do. Maybe we'll start removing some of these, keep some of them around, removing some of them um, and building some stuff. I think that's, that's a bit of an end game goal for us to really make this a, a capital city to be proud of. Um, and we're, we're starting to put the infrastructure in place here so that that will actually uh, be possible. So I think that's that's more of an end game goal for us. At the moment, let's quickly go back to what of the others, the other, some of the other things we're doing. Uh, one of the things, uh, so while the guys are still busy um, building these, I think we've still got a few days left on the construction here. Yeah, all of them still has some days left, and I think we've just started working on on these areas over here. So anyway, I might pay for some of this to finish off, but I think we're close enough so that, I mean, that's done. This will be close to done. So I think we, we, we're going to have the starting point for, for our uranium business over here um, soon. Okay, one of the things I've done is I've switched over from... Um, from the whole train sets back to the locomotives only because we've got plenty of these train sets available. But what I want to do now is I actually want to set up a train to to actually um, move our <clears throat> to move our cars. So at the moment we've got that one measly truck that's uh, that's running our four beetles at a time to the uh, to the border. So let's quickly uh, buy some stuff. And what I did is I actually got. Um, this one wagon here from the workshop. So the open wagon can um, load vehicles up to 79 tons. This one can load a little bit more, but it's the double one. That's the car carrier specifically. So I'm thinking I'm going to, I'm going to grab like three of them. Can I, can I do that? Can I not? Um, what's going? Oh, hang on. Do I have to click this and then do that? Why? Is it full? Okay, let's uh, let's let's sell one of these and see. Maybe maybe the thing is full. Still, no, something's wrong. Am I? I've got the money, right? Which is with rubles, right? Hmm. Too weird. Hang on. Okay, well let's see. Maybe we can. Is this? I'm wondering if there's something wrong over here. Hang on. Let's try that one more time. Let's just go back in there. We'll buy ourselves. These are all just the money number, right? We've we've got sufficient cash to do that. Um, don't think they're supposed to have. Really? What 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 am I what am I doing wrong here? Okay, let's sell one of these. Good. Okay, now I think we're. 
Okay, maybe it was just too full. Okay, let's go back. Let's try and procure some of these. Okay, so that's, I'm not sure how many vehicles, but let's put four of them on there and see how that works. It's probably, anyway, that's fine. So then we're going to set up a line. Okay, so it was just a full, a full thing over there. So let's set up a new line. This is going to be um, Beetle Exports. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll set that up. Train is not specified yet. Um, okay, let's uh, let's specify some stations. So let's go over here to the car facility. I believe that's, yeah, that's the one. We'll bring it to the car facility over here. Space for vehicles. I don't know why they're all stacked up there and not actually going into that area there. I wanted to have a look actually to see how that works. And then you're just going to go all the way over here to the border. Or what, over there and you're going to unload anything. So over here, okay, that's fine. Let's just save like so. Beetle Exports is available. Now we can grab our train in the um, in the depot, and we'll just say, okay, well, please, please set line, um, custom lines, Be Beetle Exports, please. That's excellent. Let's do that. Okay, we can also then go and say, well, wait until loaded or all these kind of things. And I'm, I think that's going to be fine. We're not going to do anything else than that. Okay, so that's that's it. So let's, uh, I just wanted to, okay, so now that's ready for action. Let's quickly move over here. I just wanted to see how many vehicles we have here. So it's still making vehicles. We've got 60 finished vehicles over here. And we're still making them at a massive pace. So I'm quite happy with, with what we're doing over there. But they're not showing up over here at all at all this thing has power all these kind of things they're just not showing up over there i'm not sure why that is the case or whether they'll only show up there once this is full or i don't know maybe maybe it's, it's just an issue with it anyway we know we know it does work if you load it from there so anyway let's uh let's get this underway so let's get our big train over here i do want to check follow that around and see how how that looks once we um once we got that going okay let's pause the game Quickly have a look at that. Okay, so this is the empty one, right? It's got tons of room for um, ah, tons of rooms for cars over there, and it's a pretty pretty good train. So let's keep uh, keep an eye on that. These stations are working really well. Um, this is a little bit of a mess. Maybe at some point I'll try and try and clean that up a little. But at the moment it does it does the job, um, though this is slow and not too efficient. Ooh, that's a, that's a little weird. Shouldn't have, that's a, that should be a chain signal. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, let's forget about all those little bits and pieces. Very keen to see how this is going to look. And, and hopefully once we're done here, we can uh, move straight away into getting um, all this bits and pieces set up for the uranium industry. Here we go. I just want to see how this loads. And then I want to see how much we make from it. Man, if we can fill that guy up. Oof, it'll be a big chunk of cash. A big chunk of cash. Okay, here we come. Man, how many do we have here now? 63. We've got 63 here at the moment. Let's have a look. Uh, let's switch that off. Just want to see. Oh, man, look at that. Oh, oh, it's not showing the, the top deck. How many do we have on here now? Let's see. Four. Uh, four times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. So it's about, yeah, four times six. So 24 is what we've got on here. Hmm? Yeah, 24. So 24 is what we've got on here. Okay, so that should be, oh, it'll actually tell us what it's worth. Look at that. Awesome. Look at that. 274. Nice. Um, forklift garage somewhere. Let's just have a look. It should be connected though. Where's the fire truck? Here it comes. Okay, perfect. Yeah, you should be able to finish that off. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's quickly see where that train is about. We can actually have a, have a bit of a ride on the train, actually. I think here it goes. It's unfortunate it doesn't actually show up on the top, but at least it is. Looks pretty good anyway. Um, how can we... Oh, it's pretty noisy out here. Um, how do we... Ah, that's the, that's the one. Okay, you want to track this thing. We'll quickly take a ride along all the way to the border. 
Hopefully it'll be get through this pretty quickly. Ooh. Where are we now? Ah, oh, yes, still miles away. Lots of signals and crossings that we still need to to get through. Through the bridge over there. Oh, it's a it's pretty pretty nice nice area here. It's, our rail system is fairly effective. Oh, that was that was almost smooth, almost smooth. Yeah, our railway system is fairly effective. Not a lot of stops and starts and, and things like that. There's a few, and sometimes it gets clogged a little bit. Oh, nice, nice. This is a nice ride along. All the trees over here. Need to make sure we keep replanting these trees for the lumber industry. It's a little bit of a kink there. Okay, not too bad. Gets through there fairly effectively. Why? Wow, that was a interesting move there. Anyway, we're through here. Getting through our coal processing areas. Oop, there's a few pedestrians killed over there in a train accident. Get through there fairly effectively. And we're on our way for the last stretch towards the border. Nice, there we go. Excellent, here we are arriving. And let's quickly see, that should give us a ton of cash. Oh man, look at that thing come up. Nice, okay, so that should work um, very nicely over here. Okay, now let's uh, quickly move. Uh, back to the, uh, the the uranium industry over here. So what I might do, oh, well, we're still waiting for a few more things to happen. But one of the things we're going to need is we're going to need to bus in or use train to bring workers into um, into this area. And I'm I'm tempted to use train just because train is um, slightly more effective. But this area is so congested that adding even more rail connections into this might be might be a little bit problematic. How many workers would we need at one of these? Okay, let's finish one of them off so we can see how many workers. Mines typically take a lot though. So yeah, how much is this gonna cost us? 9,000 to finish that off, 200 days. We're gonna pay for that just so we can see. So you can take a maximum of 100 workers. It's a pretty decent yield over there. So 100 workers over there so we pro probably have about 400 workers that we could be using over there and then an additional 60 workers plus engineers over here. So yes, so presumably, uh, and they, they go, there we go, there we go. Uh, we probably need up about 500 people. So really we do need to get ourselves a train station somewhere over here to provide that connection. So we want it somewhere. So it's fairly, I'm, I'm kind of thinking we try and squeeze something in here. It's, it's really horrible that we're, we're continuing to pile onto this, this train network over here. But I'm thinking if we can continue to add some stuff in here, though, we could even get it to loop out. Mm, I'm not sure that'll work, though. Where, where is this? This should be okay. Storage facility. Ooh, where is this? Uh, there's some stuff coming this way, but yeah, it's pretty much in the middle of nowhere, so... We might get pretty close here if we can't get the uh, firefighters here quickly enough. Yeah, we may need to expand our firefighting coverage over here. Oh, here comes another one. At least there's two on the way here. Can that stop it? Oh, yeah, we're going we're gonna to beat the system over here quite nicely. Excellent. Okay, no problems. Apologies for keep getting distracted by that, but that's just something we, we have to deal with. I, uh, I added a few more mods to the mix over here. One of them, uh, some of them are the car park garages and stuff like that. Um, the others are some of these other transport stations over here. So there's a little bit of a train platform over there. So we could do a pretty small train platform, actually. Um, that may actually be... Uh, do a decent enough job at getting people in and out of here into this intersection still even. I don't want to auto build it, so auto building is off. So that could work. Uh, bus stop, um, train and bus stops, those things are a little bit too big. I'm thinking this one, what is this one, train platform. Wow, that's that's actually pretty nice. I like that actually. Um, and then there's some some stuff like this. Uh, actually, that's that's probably not too bad. We can we can maybe work with something like this. Uh, we just need to make sure we've got the room for a few things over there. But yeah, ultimately, we could deal with something like this. Oh, we'll do it this way around. Yeah, that's gonna be 
tons better over there. I hope we can get everybody kind of connected up here. Hmm. This will be like a connection to here and to there. Yeah, I think that should be okay. So let's try this. We'll, we'll not build any of the stuff yet. We'll get it as close to here as possible. I'm hoping we can reach all of this stuff here. Okay, so we'll do that. Let's plan out a little bit of rail connection through there. Um, so if we do something like this, right? And we then try and... We may get this to work, but yeah, this is... This is by no means... By no means an ideal... Ideal situation. Yeah, this is really tough. We're not going to... I don't think we're going to get that one to work. Even... Really doesn't like it. Really doesn't like it. Maybe, maybe. Oh, oh. It was really close there. Maybe if it's a little bit further along... Let's try it. I'm going to try it. See if I if I can squeeze it just a little bit further forward. Maybe that'll do the trick. So let's go back in here. We'll grab that guy. It looks pretty good, actually. Ooh. Now we've got um, this, this rail thing in the way. I should have known. Let's uh, bring that back a little bit. We'll try that one one more time. Modded, modded station. We'll get that one. Probably there's a smaller one that we could use, but... Yeah, for some reason I don't think we're gonna I don't wanna I don't wanna rebuild the rest of this area just to get this to work. Yeah, for some reason I don't think that's gonna actually work. But anyway, we'll try it, we'll give it one more shot and then we'll we'll uh figure out something else. So let's do that. I'm gonna trim this back a little bit over there. And I'm gonna try and get this Actually, with that in mind, it probably can work. There we go. Ooh, this. Oh, it's a little tight over here, though. That's that's really not not what I what I had in mind there. Okay, let's try this one more time. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There we go. So with that in mind, we can get in here and in there. Can we get out and back though? Can we get? Can we get the other the other direction? And can we tie that in at all? Uh, yeah, maybe. That that could be quite quite good if that works. Oh man, that's pretty 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 close. That's really pretty close. Maybe we can uh, we can get this trim that back a little bit and try and get something in there. Really not. My goodness, that was that would have been so close if we could have get that got that in there. Oh, there there we go. Okay, so it's not it's not ideal, but at least we can get to all um to all the various stuff and it is part of our um our existing crossing. So there it shouldn't be too much more effort for everybody. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and pay for all of that. Um our money situation is looking really nice. Let's get our Signal, why can't we place a semaphore there? Okay, so we'll do... Mm, actually, well, we won't ever have stuff in here. We won't ever have trains waiting. Anyway, so we'll have to be very careful with how we do the whole train thing. Um, and for that reason, we'll put signals in there. Why would... Why would the, oh, anyways, anyway, I'm probably messing up with all of this stuff. Okay, so now we've got that block isolated over there. So once you get in there, um, you'll have to come out. So that's okay. Okay. Mm, not too sure how that's going to work yet, but we'll get that, give that a go. Now, let's quickly see about getting all of these things tied up. So I want to see footpaths um, ev pretty much everywhere. Can we, I want to do... Yeah, I wanted to do a little something like that. Excellent. Okay, 
Okay, so there's one there. I wanted to get, oh, obviously that, they're going to be able to walk up here this way as well. Okay. So with that in mind, that's the one section. Let's quickly get the road connection in here also. Okay, I'm going to pay for that. Now, let's see if we go just by road connections themselves. How does this work? Oh, man. Ooh, that's miles away. Just not going to get it there. We're only going to get these two. We may get that one with a little bit of a little bit of effort, but we'll have to cross over here. So let's see if there's anything we can do to, yeah, okay, at least we can cross that. We can't go that way. So we'll have to go down here and around, and then we'll have to kind of tie it in over there. And hopefully that does help a little bit. I'm going to run this down here and all the way over there, and then we'll Try and tie that in and see if that helps us out at all. Um, okay, and if we try and get these things as close together as possible. Uh, let's pay for all of that. I'm really hoping that that will actually help the connection out. I can try and straight line it over here. That's something that, I, that I'll do. Let's get rid of some of this, some of that. And some of that, and let's try and do a straight line uh, from there. Straight line. Down here. Oh man, look at that. Look at that. And what we'll also do is we'll connect that up there. And hopefully um, that straight line over there is going to be slightly more helpful to us. Oh man, look at that. Oh, look at that. That's the perfect spot. It's got all of it connected. I am loving it. Okay, let's get it built um, so that we can start seeing some, some people arrive here. So just a very basic little station here just to use one of those trains to bring people in to come and work the facility over here. Oh, that's done. Oh, look at that yield. That's awesome. Uh, where is this? A platform and sewers. There should be, uh, should be firefighters fairly close by yeah they're already there nice this uh, town is also growing a fair bit we've got tons of people that we need to potentially move here um, ooh, so we should actually start i'm thinking planning out a little bit more of these residential stuff i'll get back to you <laughs> just while we're here i know i get distracted so easily i've added a few more other things here just to the mix let's get some of these going i think they look pretty good and we can yeah, maybe get started on, on some stuff here. Yeah, I do like um, us to angle them this way a little bit. So if we do that and that, we should be able to get both of them connected quite easily to the road. So I want to do that. I want to do this. I want to say, let's start work on that. Okay, so these guys can start, the, our construction crews can start building that just so that we continue to build some residential capaci capacity over here. We need to move people around a little bit. Okay, so now we've got this going on. So we've got that one finished. Uh, we've actually got all of them finished now, apart from this one, which it's okay. We don't need everything finished straight away. The next thing we're going to need is some power. So we've got some pretty decent power running up here that we're actually selling at the moment. So let's see. What can we do in terms of power distribution? Something that'll kind of tie up to almost everything. Something like back here, maybe. Okay, let's uh, zoom it out a little so we can see. So we're not going to reach that furthest mine over there. So potentially we can do one over here and then one closer to the top there so that we try and spread them out a little bit. So if we do maybe a little something like this up here yeah that should be pretty good let's zoom back in there and so let's find ourselves a little spot here where we can uh, put the distribution facility in there nice that's going to be a pretty decent spot right there and then the other one i'm thinking goes up here somewhere so we try and double up a little bit or, or kind of catch both sides of things a little bit 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pay for them. Our money is, we don't need to worry about the money situation at the moment. Go ahead and pay for that. That should give us power pretty much everywhere. Now we just need to have a look at where we're actually going to tie in those facilities. The scan. Okay, so I'm, I'm thinking we can get uh, some kind of a split off here and get some power transformation in here going on. So let's uh, see, power transformers. Uh, oh, the first thing is we're going to need a high voltage switch. Okay, let's pause the game while we do that. So I can uh, trim this thing out of there and we'll get the high voltage switch going on. Kind of something like that is about what I'm thinking. And then we need the power transformer kind of right over there. I wonder if you can actually do a pass through there or anything like that. Anyway, that's fine. I'm just going to do the transformer over there. So that's, and I think that's going to be fine. We're not going to worry about all the other bits and pieces. So let's tie that back in. We'll tie that back in. This is not going to take that much. So let's just grab like six megawatts off of there. Uh, actually, we don't even need six megawatts. Four megawatts is going to be sufficient. Let's get four megawatts off of that. Um, let's pay for all of this. And let's get the medium lines in place. Um, I'm thinking I'm just going to go with the mm, 1.5 should do the trick, actually. So we'll have one in there and tie it in on that side. The other one will have to run. Hmm, kind of tempted to run it up here, through there and up there. Yeah, let's try. Let's try a little something like that. Nice. Oh, that's, let's uh, trim it back a little bit so get it look a little bit nicer. Something like that. We'll run it up here. There we go. Nice. Let's pay for all of that. Excellent. Now, if we have a look at this, this thing still needs to be built. Let's pay for that. Want to make sure we get road access to all of these things. Okay, so we can try and tie that in there. Oh, this thing is... Oh, hang on. This thing is not built. The most important one of them all. There's lots of stuff without power. Let's uh, continue this road down here. May use it a little bit later. I'm going to pay for all of that. And we will tie that one in there and pay for that. So there we go. So now... Everything here should, in fact, be powered. It just doesn't have any workers. Excellent. Now, we need to set up that um, that line. Okay, they're still busy. Yeah, excellent. That should be workable over here, getting the, getting the train in there. Okay. I'm going to try and pick up people over here. We've got tons of people hanging out over here, uh, including engineers. That's going to be brilliant to use this area. Actually, it's going to be awesome. Uh, we've got a bit of a blockage going on here why why are you running through there mm, okay so you're blocking this whole thing so this is the thing we need to be sure that we've got a decent um, area set up so what i'll do is i'll trim that one out that means you'll move Okay, all of that's working again. Maybe it's okay if I if I take that out. Ooh, yeah. Let's see. Okay, no, I mean, I'll need to take that one out as well. Luckily, we we had a check. That one will move by. I believe they won't um, keep clogging each other now. Yeah. So we just make this one big thing a big block there and see how that goes. I don't like the idea of this way around. Uh, it probably shouldn't be that way around. Let's just do that and yeah, yeah, keep keep it keep it keep it going like uh, like this. So it's a double chain. I think that works quite well. Okay, so let's uh, let's go back and and get our our stuff set up over here. That's probably partly why we had so many people here. But anyway, line time. Okay, so let's get a custom line here. We'll create a line. This will be um, uh, uranium miners. 
Yeah, that's fine. Miners line. Uranium miners. That's fine. I think that's going to be sufficient. Uh, we will add this stop and then we will add that stop. As simple as that. What you're going to do, and we're going to save that. Um, can we, we can't select anything just yet. We need to assign a, a train first. So let's grab a train. One of our, our own built trains over there. Uh, just want to see. Yeah, we've got one set up over here. So let's go one of our new locomotives. Let's grab one of these guys. I think one will be sufficient for now, at least at the start of the game. So let's uh, assign you to our new line. That one is a, uh, it's over here. Let's assign you to that line. Perfect, perfect. Now, I want to make sure. Oh, it's Stropani. It's Stropani. You don't want to pick up any of these people. You want to, in fact, pick up all of those. And I'm very sure you want to pick up all of those. And you don't want to unload anybody. You Over here, you're going to go ahead and not load anybody. But you're going to unload these guys. The reason I don't unload is because... Um, at the mo or, or load at this stop again is because at the moment workers don't actually get back into the trains to go home. They just kind of disappear once they're done with their shift. So that's, that's going to be it. So let's, um, let's hit the start button and see how that goes. Let's clear out some of these things. So here comes our train. Uh, don't, it won't be stopping here. It'll just be passing through. Let's clear out some of these messages. Tons of messages to clear out. That one's getting through there. Hopefully it's not going to be running back through here anytime soon. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Man, look at that. We're almost back at the 10 million mark. We just need to uh, get ourselves out there to the um, to the NATO border so that we can get some dollars. Excellent. So that's going to come in here. It's not going to pick up too many people though. It's good. Could pick up a fair bit actually. How much does it actually take again? This 325. Well, it's not going to take 325, but how many did we pick up here? Mm, nice. And lots of engineers as well. Okay. Get out of there, buddies. Oh, man. That was a smooth, uh, smooth one through the signal there. What's this? A new trolley bus that we're not using. Get through there. Nice. Clip that bus over there. Okay. Wait for that. Um, call or to run through here and then let's quickly see how this happens once you get in here man this is going to be so awesome where are you oh still stuck over there okay and get in there get in there you clear that out lots of people getting out oh man look at that getting in there are we going to see oh there we go immediately we're seeing uranium ore being delivered Oh, there's a bit of a bummer there. Got a bit of an issue going on right there. Uh huh. It's too long for this setup. Ah, uh, what are we going to do? Okay, we will need to sort that out. So let's quickly trim this back a little bit. Trim it back till there, maybe. I hope we can get it to work now. Okay, so that's a bit of a challenge for us now to deal with. Let's uh, trim that back till there. We'll trim that one back till there. But what we'll try and do is we'll try and take off of here. So we can get you out of there, in fact. Okay, now the question is, can we also get you to come? Well, maybe for the time being. Hmm, let's see, is there something? That, so that side is going to work and potentially that's all we need. I'm just trying to future proof this a little bit. Yeah, really they don't like, they don't like us doing these kind of things okay anyway we're not going to worry about that too much we're uh, just going to leave it at leave it be there um, let's pay for that section and be sure to put a bit of a chain signal in there and hopefully that means you will find your way back yeah you will okay good stuff so you'll go and pick up some more people now immediately we are having we are creating uranium oxide but at a fairly slow rate Anyway, but the uranium ore is coming in. We're probably filling this in here. How many workers do we have over here? 34. So yeah, we are creating 
a fair bit of uranium ore at the moment. Um, even if we go up here, are we? Yeah, we're doing our we're doing our bit here. Creating uranium ore per day, 16, 17. This one is still uh oh, this one's working as well. 10, 52, 59, 63, and 75 yield. So really we are doing a pretty decent job at mining a uh, lots of uranium um ore. So that's a big heap of uranium ore. And I'm kind of wondering whether that actually means that uh, we are uh, spreading some uh, radiation over here. That's what I'm what I'm wondering about. So they're going to walk like very tight. Uh, they're going to pick up some uranium ore on their way to work. Nice. Okay, so that thing is filling up quite nicely. Then we are over here creating um, uranium oxide. Um, so that is currently go pushing out over there. So there's a fair bit of room for uranium oxide. Okay, so that's the the first step basically. So let's see what can we do. And wow, look at that. We're making a decent. This is this month alone. We're making a decent amount. What can we get for uranium oxide? Uh, it's pretty pricey actually. Not like chemicals or wow. Look at that steel price. I'm sure that steel price has just rocket skyrocketed. But really the next thing for us to do is move transition that to uranium fuel. So the idea is that we can we can start um filling up this stuff over here and what we'll do is we'll get trains to come and pick this up and move this to to a site where we create uranium fuel. So what is the next step on our on our journey here? Let's uh, let's go and have a look at the engineering industry. Oh actually it's under the power industry. Here we the next step is that's the uranium processing plant. Then it's the uranium conversion plant that um, creates UF ninety six, and then and then it's uh, uranium fuel. I mean nuclear fuel conversion, and we're going to need chemicals. Oh, we need chemicals for both of these processes. Okay, so chemicals will start to be a bit of a, uh, a challenge for us. Okay, I'm not going to do continued processing over here. Um, this will just be the mining site. So the mining site is creating um, uranium oxide over here to be moved around. Um, and then from there, we should get um, a fair bit of this stuff that we can then slowly move um, elsewhere to sites where they can then be, be better processed yet again. How much do we have here? Um... Not the processing blonde, how much is in here? Okay, then. so we are creating a fair bit of stuff going on here. Why are you... I hate it when they do that. Oh, I know why they're doing that. Because they don't have any signals here. So let's... Um, I just want to make sure that we put some chain signals in there. And then we'll do... Chain signals. Ooh, I don't want them. I actually just don't want them to be running through there. Is it because we've got double up signals over here? Let me get rid of these. Uh, actually, I've just added them to make it look. This area is a little bit messy. We might have to come back and redo that. Okay, anyway, let's see about where we set the, the rest of the stuff in here. How's our construction going on over here? Oh, we don't have these assigned? Okay, that one is assigned. So, missing resources concrete? We should have all of these working, right? Yeah, absolutely. All of this should be absolutely fine. Uh, what are you missing? The asphalt plant. Oh, it's not assigned. My goodness. Let's make very sure that you're assigned. So, go and get asphalt over there. And go and get concrete over here. Come on, guys. Go and get it. Good stuff. Okay, we'll get we'll keep going on that. We might need need, need some more um, stuff over here, but we'll we'll get to that ever so slowly. Okay. Now, what we have over here is we've got unloading plants um, right there. So I'm tempted that we use that area over there for uranium processing. That area back there. What we mean what I mean by that was we can actually bring the. Um, oh no no no! It's 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 this. It's this stuff over here. It's not going to be coming here as ore. It's going to come here as um, as those those cans, cans, gallon barrels, barrels. That's the one. Barrels of uranium oxide. So maybe this way is more appropriate. Then we can get buses out here. 
because I don't think those things use too many workers. Can we have a quick look at that? Uh, how many workers does it actually, uh, oh, number of workers, 80, 50. So it's not that much. We can certainly get these people to come and work here. And if we get it out here, it might not be, might not be too bad. Then all we need to do is potentially come and load it over here, which is not ideal because it's, well, we can make room for it. We can make room for it to come and come and get that dropped off over there. Uranium, uranium oxide. We can, we can make a little bit of room for uranium oxide. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I'll trim out the wood there. We'll provide us with a little bit. Yeah, 35 tons, I think is going to be more than sufficient. So what we'll do is we'll trim that back a little bit. That'll help us out. We'll trim the bricks back a little bit. And that will give us a little bit of capacity for uranium oxide over here. Now, okay, so with that in mind, I'm thinking we need to start planning out what we're going to do with that. So, um, and I think we need to move it directly from the one to the other and then into the, um, into the facilities. Uh, we can't, yeah, anyway, we'll just see what, what it is that we get up to. And then we can start running power potentially somewhere over here. It's quite close to the board. What do we have here? We can certainly sell it back to our comrades over here straight away. But yeah, so we've got a border post pretty pretty close. So this spot here is a pretty decent spot then for our um, our power plants. We've got water? Where? Oh, up there. Nice. We could even start shipping stuff out of here. Oh, this is the oil industry. Yeah, so this this area is probably a pretty decent spot for... Um, for, you know, uh, for all of that. Okay, there's some mining that we can do over there. So let's maybe not put it in there. But let's uh, let's see about put, getting it um, done over there. Yeah, this area here, I think is going to be pretty good. So we'll try and move it out. We could even get a bit of a railway line um, to come all the way here. We could easily extend that. And then we can also get pass uh, workers to bring be, be coming in by train. Yeah, that's 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 doable. Okay, let's uh, let's quickly lay that out. Okay, so we are interested in the power industry. We want to do uranium conversion. So we've got the mine, we've got the processing. We want to do conversion. We'll need to get chemicals out here though. Wow, that's that's tiny. That's tiny. Okay, so let's uh, let's get the processing done over there. Do a little something like that as a starting point. Okay, and then from there we'll do nuclear fuel fabrication. Okay, so what does that actually do? That uh, consumption, two tons of oxide per day, um, and it pr pr creates um, almost a ton of UF6. Okay, then this guy uses 0.4 tons of UF6, and it gives us, wow, like a hundred, a hundred kilograms, right? Ninety-five kilograms. Is that that quite right? Yeah, ninety-five kilograms of nuclear fuel. But it uses so much power, actually. And it's going to use. Well, it doesn't use that much. Okay. So anyway, let's just do a one-to-one -one for now. But we, I'm pretty sure we just need to make sure that we give ourselves enough room to to add additional stuff. So we'll do that there. Hmm. I'm just thinking if we bring some stuff in here, let's zoom in a little bit. So I'm, I'm quite comfortable to do that there and get the, our guys delivered at the top there. Uh, but if we then add additional spots, I think maybe that one is a little safer. So that we can actually add an additional an additional one there. So let's do that as a plan. Um, okay, and then from there we will do single reactor. Look at that production of power. We would never need more than that. I can't imagine we would ever need more than that. We'll just go with a single, a single reactor nuclear plant. How many workers does it take? Only 40, 80 workers. Environmental pollution, maximum power consumption. It consumes power and then maximum wattage circuit breaker, 78. Oh, megawatts, 
That was, I don't know. Anyway, I am gonna think we're just going to start off with the one. The other one is massive to build. So we'll do a little bit of this, okay? Um, I'm thinking it should have, oh, yeah, it has a spot right over there to to link these together and we can in fact get okay so that's that's kind of the idea is to link these together as best we can power will be running from the, oh that side okay so if we if we can end up linking it like this So, can we link it like, how far can we, we can't get it really far, but it's not going to need a lot, but at least if we do it this way, I'll, I'll try and get enough room in there so we can actually squeeze the others. We should be able to get the workers on the other side. So, there we go. That is our single, single reactor nuclear power plant right over there it's going to give us tons of power that we're going to export straight away and everywhere else look at that we're over ten and a half million rubles so we're pretty doing a pretty decent job we're going to need a cooling tower i believe it's one cooling tower per um per facility so try i want to try and get it close without actually just uh and we don't have anything here that's going to help us. Uh, potentially, we can just do do this. Yeah. Bring it a little closer, though. Yeah, something like that's going to be fine. Can we try and line? Oh, there we go. This, uh, how much concrete does this use? Massive, 500 tons of concrete. Okay. I think that's the idea there. So there's our cooling tower for the uh, nuclear power plant there. Now, let's um, let's see. I do want us to kind of run a road through here, a proper road. This thing will need very much dedicated... Um, uh, firefighting facilities i think so we'll do that that's it that's the starting point um there and i do think we'll feed this whole facility with some with some proper uh proper rail connections and things like that so let's see if we run this out here i do kind of think that we um i don't i don't want to want to run it just straight like that for for the little bit of time and then what i what i'm keen to do is oh yeah i like that now, let's give it a nice kink to kind of go back to town. Nice. And we'll give it a nice kink to go back to town over there. Nice. Look at that. Awesome. Awesome. We can do very similar stuff over here. But yeah, that'll make room for a rail connection to run out through this way. Uh, we'll we'll get all of the stuff that we need to drop off over here. So actually, we need to get ourselves an open storage. So let's get that going on over here as well. Nice. I'm liking the progress that we're making over here. So let's grab ourselves a medium open storage that's immediately connected here. Um, I think something... Actually, we... Probably, if, if that tooltip would just go out, get out of my way. That's, uh, it's painful, really. I want to try, I just, I want to, come on, can we just, I don't, just uh, get rid of the tooltip, please. Um, can we, can we rotate, oh, I don't want to rotate that, can we rotate, uh, okay, let's do this. Let's turn that and maybe the tooltip won't be in our way. Yeah, absolutely. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that we connect this one up there so that I could potentially even squeeze in a separate one. There's some new vehicles that we can go ahead and build. But yeah, that is kind of the idea here. If I can get that to connect, we could potentially feed a, a second one over here at some point. Um, not sure this thing produces anything that can go back in here but we I don't know anyway that's that's kind of the idea 
The other bit we need is a bit of a train station over here that's going to feed all of these and potentially something else in here if we need to double up on that. Um, okay, but let's see. Train station. I'm going to use some of these fancy modded ones. I do like them. Um, which ones? Which ones? That's a train platform. We probably need... What is this? So that's a cargo train platform, I'm thinking, right? No. It's a passenger platform. This one? Wow, look how many passengers that takes. I do like that, but we don't need that many people. That's too small. That's one side only, is it? 920. I'm thinking the 150 is about the right number for us. Well, we don't need anybody waiting there at all. That's a bit small. I don't like that. Uh, we've seen it just at the other side, and it's not quite working the way we would like it to work. Um, the longer one is really much more appropriate for us over here. And that should tie in quite nicely to all of the spots here. And we still need to remember that we're going to need a road that runs, ah, but it'll run on the one side of it. I do want to check the one with the road, actually. Train platform, that's just too small. This one, there's a big one here with the road and bus stations and, and stuff like that. This is more of a town center one, so I'm not going to actually use that in the end. Bus stop, nice. I like some of these, they're really cool. Um, yeah, I'm thinking just the one here. I'm thinking just the one. Double track? But for double track, we want um, at least a longer one, though. So then it's it's probably then the other one. This is just too small. This is just too small. Okay, let's go back and see what we have in uh, with the game. We've got terrain platform, this one. Mm, not that much bigger, though. But anyway, it'll work nonetheless. So we'll do something like that. That should be really sufficient in terms of distancing. Okay, we'll do that. That's going to be kind of our drop-off station over there. What we'll, what I am keen on doing is doing some loops for these guys. So what we'll do is we'll have to try and figure out how this thing is actually going to run through here. And at the moment, we're probably being um, being hampered by this uh, connection that I've put in here. Was it seemed like a good idea when I built it there, but obviously now it's a, it's a bit of a, a bit of an issue. So what we'll do is we'll definitely need to kind of connect some rail. Hmm. Yeah. Anyway, we'll we'll start seeing some different pieces of network come in here. That's awesome. I, man, I like it. I want to see where we're going to head with this. I don't want to pause the game all the time. So let's. Uh, okay, let's start off with this. So we we'll have a we'll have a rail that comes in here somewhere okay we'll split it out we'll split it out we'll get you to go back yeah i don't think we have rail connection over here we'll get you to run that one around there we'll do our stand we'll do a nice little teardrop there oh man that's actually pretty nice we'll do a nice little teardrop there um, and we'll tie that back in there. Nice, good stuff. Uh, we'll run, we'll run it up here. Actually, we'll run it up there. So we'll try and, we'll try and hug the existing stuff that we've got going on there. Um, so what we'll need to do is we'll need to at some point peel off over there. Let's, uh, let's do it a little nicer, something like this. And then what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll tie this back in there. Yeah, so that's kind of our our little loop there. Probably a little looks a little over the top, really. I'm uh, I'm not going to be too pedantic about how this how this looks and works, but I I just want to see about getting it pretty pretty decent. Um, that area, that area is dangerous. Oh, it's already here. 
I am. I'm. I'm really worried about things burning down. I've. I've. Had, I've lost a few buildings in this game. Things are on a pretty tough, tough build here. Uh, yeah, maybe we don't need. Maybe we don't need this one to go to go nuts with that. And maybe all we need to do is uh, is make sure that it uh, it in fact feeds back in there. Okay, something like that. That should be that should be fine. Uh, then. What I'm keen we do is we run it up here. I run it, run it like this. Yeah. How about that? Now we need to work the, our magic over here so that we can tie this one in. Probably need to cross this one a little, a little later. Uh, I think that will actually tie in there without too much problems. But if it doesn't, we can still tie that back a little. So let's, uh, let's bring this one out. We'll pause the game now because we've now cut some connections here. I'm going to need to <clears throat> get rid of some of this. Oh, and probably this, um, this stuff here is not going to work either. So let's see about that. Hmm. I may have to rejig this a little bit. Let's just quickly get rid of these uh, power lines here. I'll get them back in as soon as we can. Now let's uh, let's get that rail section back in here. So if we go the straight line and we'll run it like that, and we'll get this one. Oh yes, yeah, it's, it's going to work. I just need us to. Oh man. Um, okay, let's uh, let's not get it this tight. Let's uh, let's bring it back a little. I'm uh, I'm happy to trim this side back a little and give us a little bit more room here. Lots of rail lines here now. Let's trim that back a little bit more. Yeah, that that'll that should give us uh, enough enough room to make this work. Okay, now yeah, something like that is going to be better. Yeah, it's going to feel, oh, that's, I hate it. I hate it when it does that. And you would imagine it's not the, it's not the easiest little routing to find. Yes, that's good. That is good. Ooh, some, this stuff, it does this thing from time to time. And I'm always worried that it's, it's going to break it. Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, so that's now. Fairly well connected over there. Um, I need to connect some power back up here, and we need to connect. Um, we need to get a, a semaphore or a signal in here somewhere. Okay, let's. Uh, ooh, and we probably need to build some of it. Anyway, I'm not going to build all of it. Uh, probably the rail. I am going to build all of it. Seven fifty. It's expensive, but there it goes. Um, okay, now the next thing we need to do is immediately um, find find the appropriate spot for this thing to cut through. That's fine, and then we'll go and tie it in like that. Ooh, there's a lot being built of this. So anyway, let's uh, let's tie that in. I'm gonna build that, and the rest will get the the work the the guys, the construction crews, to come and build. Probably, probably we'll run it like this as well. Yeah, good stuff. And we'll get that up and running also. They can clearly go and build that. They just need us to fix some of this stuff and get the power, power back on. Let's get that power on. Which one are we using here? We're using this one. Good stuff. That's working. Let's pay for that. And let's get all of this built. Excellent. All of that is built up and ready. We just need to make sure we get our uh, signals in place here. And that's the one that'll work. That'll give us that one get through there. Um, at the same time, we definitely want to make sure that this has a bit of a chain signal going that way and uh, other signal going that way. Then that should be absolutely fine. Um, it should work. It should work. We could even extend this as a main line somewhere, somewhere else um, in this area. But I think a bit of a branch section over here 
It's going to be just fine. Right now there's tons of stuff that can um, can get get underway. We're back down 10 million, but man, um, we're doing really, really well. Guys, I think that's where we're going to end it off. Uh, let's quickly have a look at what's going on over here. Do we still have stock over here? We've actually... Ooh, we don't have any workers here. Okay, stuff has gone wrong. Stuff has gone wrong. Why? Hmm. You can't find your way? Oh, you should really be able to find your way now. Okay, let's what I'll do. And are you blocking up the I think I think you probably are if I can move these things a little bit. Anyway, let's uh let's try and move that out of the way. Find your way, find your way. Yes, good. There we go. Okay, so that we need to grunt push that forward just a tad more if we can. Okay, there goes the one for the cars. Now it's blocking stuff up. Okay, it's at least getting out of there. Yeah, this this thing is a bit of a mess. A bit of a mess. Okay. I'll have to see what we what I need to do. Maybe I'll I'll rejig this thing in between episodes to see if that, that all of that works. Um that'll get uh, that'll get people to come back in there again. Obviously you're not picking up any cars at the moment. That's okay. Uh, yeah, you can't wait there because then this guy can't actually get in there. So, yeah, that's fine. Workers are not coming in. I'm guessing you were stuck here and all your workers kind of got lost. But all of that should now be back up and working. What I probably need to do is I need to get a ton of more concrete and things um, over here. Anyway, I'll, I'll level that out in between episodes. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let's quickly have a quick look at what we've got going on over here. This thing should be... Yeah, doing pretty well. How much do we have over here? Very little, actually. Very little. Um, how are we progressing on all of our other construction projects? Let's just quickly take a quick look. Um, slowly, um, to say the least. This is underway, but it, it's taking ages. I might have to come and help this area out so that we can get proper construction crews to start working this area. Um, how many trains do we have up and running? New locomotives. Let's quickly see. Oh, we've got about three of them ready to go. That's pretty cool. And we're missing steel, actually. Why is that? Uh, I'm assuming that the train was stuck somewhere. And now things are working again. Okay, guys. Anyway, if you've liked this episode, please hit that like button. I do appreciate your support. Please leave a comment. And tell me what you think of the whole process. Do you... Uh, are I mean, what are you thinking about the uranium um, process? And are we going to get some nuclear power up and running soon? All those good things. So yeah, absolutely keen to get that going. And uh, yeah, I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.